Welcome back my Baldre peoples. You already know what time it is. There's another review. And this is a big one because it's Mr. Zack Snyder, the ever, ever so device of Zack Snyder. <laughs> this is Army of the Dead and um, yeah. So about time I, when my hand, at the end of this intro, when my hand closes in on this lens and it goes black, I would have seen this movie by now at a movie theater. For the first time in a year, I'm fully vaccinated, so I get the privilege of going. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. I miss the movies. I miss the theater experience. It's the best thing ever. It's the best way to watch a movie. But before I get into this review, I do have to thank my new subscribers. I've reached 318. That's, that's, uh, that's a good feeling. We're on the road to a thousand. So if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And also I gotta thank you guys for getting my Mortal Kombat review to 20K. I did not see that one coming. Um, <laughs> that video got a lot of attention and um, for me, I'm not used to that, but uh, I thank you. Um, a lot of you were agreeants with me and there were some, there was some, not so much, but um, I got pretty thick skin, so. We have a little whack ass comment. So many people were saying I can deal with it. It's fine. As long as no one got too disrespectful for it, it's okay. So we can disagree. We can agree to disagree. And um, also, as you can see, I'm in a sling. Uh, messed up my clavicle. Uh, but we'll get into that in the next video when I talk about it with the person who was kind of the cause of this. Let's get into this review. See what I'm saying? It's, it's reaching for that lens. And about time, when it touches, I would have seen this movie and be back home reviewing it and you would, there you go, there you go. And just like that, your boy saw Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead on Netflix next week. Check it out, because I really enjoyed it. I had so much fun with this film. The action, the suspense, the over-the-topness of it, the over-the-top Zackness of it, the the cinematography of it. It was beautiful. Certain, there were so many shots in this film that I really was like, oh my God, I love this. It's so beautiful. It's like a painting. The fun of it, the fun of it all. Just being back in the theater and, and sucking it all in that theater air and just like, Man, there's no experience like a movie theater. I don't care what anyone says, there's no experience like going to the movie. So if you haven't watched, or you don't know what this film is about, it's pretty much about a group of people who are hired to retrieve $50 million, I believe, in this um, Vegas hotel. Vegas right now, it's it's blocked off, it's, it's barricaded, it's in quarantine because there's a zombie pandemic. <laughs> and pretty much everyone who's in this quarantine area is zombies. So, that's where we uh, meet Dave Bautista, his character Scott, and they go on his mission, and a whole bunch of ish happens. The opening of this film was amazing for many different reasons. Um, now, I will say people, because anything that Zack Snyder does, there's bound to be some parts or something that's going to be divisive. Uh, the opening, the catalyst can be off-putting, but... I didn't mind it because it felt very Vegas and it was very over the top. It's very, I want to say stupid, but it was just like, okay, I see. Sin and can, the human sin can cause a bunch of nonsense. We see that right now in this world. So I didn't have a problem with it. But when it got to the part with the titles and they're pretty much introducing Dave Bautista, his group of friends, this, this malicious group, this militia group, who are zombie hunters, and you got everyone's story without them saying anything. That was amazing. It was just the music, the shots, the scenes of them introducing these characters. And I thought that was like, man, that was dope. That was, it was you got so much story, you got the emotional attachment, um, which I'm not gonna give away because there was one thing and I was just like, oh my God, I never felt that like from just a title opening. What I love is that Zack Snyder has this collective, this huge fan base that I think is forever growing. It's solidified. There's nothing you can really do about it. And I, you know, I have my issues with people kind of like, um, 
putting them putting a lot of his fans in a box because yes there are very a lot of toxic parts of his fan base but that's with every other fan base that existed in this entire world and the fact that we have social media now has made it worse the problem isn't the fan base well, it's not just the fan base but the most the biggest problem is social media and in, in, in the ways of of how people can express themselves that we need to work on however his fan base is strong but there are a part there's a big part of his fan base that's very conservative and it's funny because especially in this film there are he's very progressive and there's a lot of progressive themes in this film like immigration and and the stuff we're dealing with covid those themes are in this film but whatever i enjoyed those themes i would have rather him i would have loved if he kind of like uh went more into depth with that but it was just enough where it was just like okay get the subtext of that um i love the fact that what he was saying with a lot of these things were also how sometimes how the power of money even during the most dangerous the most the most uh yeah the most dangerous times of a pandemic we will adapt and we will do anything to reach some level of bliss um and i I dug that. Um, I just wish he would have went went more into that. I love the aliens. Um, not, not alien, aliens. Okay, <laughs> but I love the alien nods. Um, I thought that was dope. Aliens is one of my favorite science fiction movies, so I enjoyed that. The suspense, there's the suspense in this film. There's this, this, this zombie maze scene that I thought was so dope. And it was just like, it it went on just enough where you were just like, he was with this character and it was just like, I felt it. Like, I enjoyed it because I feel like so much, so many horror films today lack, they, they, they don't execute suspense in the way that I would love, you know? It's very quick. It doesn't, it's very fast. It's, it's like, they're, it, they don't let, they don't, it doesn't breathe like and I felt like this scene breathed and there was a lot of things like that with this with suspense that I felt like he let breathe but with that there was a lot of scenes that I felt like he let breathe too much too long and sometimes with Zach I noticed that he does like his way which is fine but sometimes especially with storytelling you have to know those moments even though you feel so attached to those moments you have to know when to let those go because a lot of times those moments is the dead weight that's keeping your script and your story down. And I don't think that he's there yet, but I don't feel like he's a terrible storyteller. I just feel like there's room for improvement. He's stronger visually and he definitely proved that because there were so many shots, like I said, there were so many shots in this film that were just like a painting. It was beautiful. And I love his visual storytelling because I feel like in this time, he's like probably one of the stronger ones of the creator of filmmakers um, with story visual storytelling. Dave Bautista, I thought was great. I didn't realize how strong of an actor Dave Bautista is with who he is as just as a person. I think we kind of like can put people in the box because of how they look. And I felt like Dave Bautista, um, he's pretty solid. Like I feel like. With Zack Snyder direction and his his ability and his talent, with Dave Bautista talent and his ability and Zack Snyder direction, I felt like they they chose the bright moments. See, they used his strengths, and I appreciated that. Because uh, sometimes, yeah, we're not gonna get to that. <laughs> uh, there was moments with characters who I felt like that um, they were placed too conveniently. That I felt like that it was. I was just like, okay. That's convenient. How did you find that person? But whatever. Don't I don't don't think about it too deeply. Just let it be. This film was just so it was fun. Like I just had fun with it. I don't it's like, you know, you don't want to think about it too much. The emotional weight of it is probably what made me have more fun with it. Like, because I cared about a lot of these characters. And that's always good, you know. You wanna in you want to like the people you're watching. Like you, you're going on this journey with these characters and you want to, you want to like them. And I was happy with that. By the way, also Zack Snyder was not only the producer, the writer, the director, he was also the DP. Listen, Tyler Perry, you have 24 hours 
to respond. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, that's it for my review. Uh, see you this weekend. I have another video that's coming out. Should be fun. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. And tell me what you think. If you haven't seen the film, tell me what you think when you finally see it. I enjoyed it. Catch you guys.